Good morning, students. Once again, we are going to continue our lessons. And uh, on the board, we have mathematics. And then the topic is digital time. Digital time. Digital time. I hope everyone is doing well. So, last week, we did something on reflection. We did something on reflection. And then we said that if you are to reflect a certain coordinate about X axis, then if it, uh, the X line will be your mirror line, so the ship will come down to the S as it's all, if it is on the put uh, on the S side and then you are to reflect it on the about Y as it's, then it should go to the, the Y line will be your mirror line and then you are to send the ship to the other side of the line. Now today we are going to continue our lessons and then I said the topic is digital term, digital term. With this digital term, we have digital term and then we have analog term. We have digital term and analog term. Now, example, if you have, let's say, 220, this is digital term. Time. Digital time 220. So we have digital time, and then in analog time, analog time, it will be 20 minutes past 2. 20 minutes past 2. So today, the topic that you are going to do is digital term. So we are going to talk about digital term. Maybe we will continue the topic with what? Analog term next time. We are going to do analog, analog term next time. So for the digital term, we have two times. We have 24 hour clock term and then 12 hour clock time 24 hour clock time and then 12 hour clock time so this is digital time so we have 24 hour clock and then we have we have 12 we have 12 hour clock 24 hour clock and then 12 hour clock now for 24 hour clock it starts from 13 14 15 up to what 24 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So if let's say we have 13, 4, 13, 4, 13, 4. Now this 13, 4, 13, 4. Let's say here we have. 13, 4, that's 24 hour clock. When you remove the 12 from the 13, you will get 1. You remove 12 from 13, you get what? 1. So here we have what? 1, 4 on 12 hour clock. 13, 4 on 24 hour clock. On 12, 12 hour clock, it will be 1, 4. 1, 4. Then the next one, if you have 14, let's say 10, 14, 10. When you remove 12 from 14, you'll get 2. 
to do 10 on 12 hour clock. Now, the next one, we have 15, 30, 15, 30. On 12 hour clock, it will be 3, 30. That's when you move 12 from 15, you get 3. So they are, it will, on 12 hour clock, it will be 12, it will be 3, 30. 3.30. Now, we have the next one. 16, this is 16, 25. 16, 25. 16, 25. When you remove 12 from 16, you will get 4. So it will be 4.25. 4.25. Now, if you have 17, 45. 17.45. Removing 12 from 17, you get 5. So the answer will be what? 5.45. 5.45. 5.45. Then, the next one. F. If you have 18, 18, 18, 18, so you remove 12 from the 18, you get 6. So it will what? 6, 18 on 12 hour clock. Then the next one, if you have, again, if you have 19, 5, 19, 5, here it will be what? You remove 12 from 19, it will be 7. So you get 7, 5 on 12 hour clock. Then, the next one, if you have 20, uh, 15, 20, 15, on 12 hour clock, it will be 8, 15, 8, 15. That means, when you move 12 from 20, you will get 8. So, 8, 15. Then, the next one, if you have 21, 11, that 24 hour clock, on 12 hour clock, it will be 9, 11, that's when you move 12 from 21, you will get 9, then the next one, if you have 22, 10, 22, 10, removing 12 from, so the next one, removing 12 from 22, you will get 10, you get 10, so here we go, 10, 10, 10, 10. Then, if you have 20, it will be 35. Here, we're moving 12 from 23, you get 11. So here will be 11, 35 on 12 hour clock. Then, L, if you have 24, let's say 20, so here, when you remove 12 from 24, you will get 12, so here we have 12, 20. So looking at the data term, I told you that we have two types of what? Clocks, we have 24 hour clock and then 12 hour clock. So on 24 hour clock, if you have 13, 4. On 12 hour clock, it will be 1, 4. On 24 hour clock, if you have 14, 10. On 12 hour clock, it will be 2, 10. On 24 hour clock, if you have 15, 30. On 12 hour clock, it will be 3, 30. On 24 hour clock, if you have 16, 25. On 12 hour clock, it will be 4, 25. On 24 hour clock, if you have 1745, on 12 hour clock, it will be 545. On 24 hour clock, if you have 1818, on 12 hour clock, you will get 618. On 24 hour clock, if you have 95, on 12 hour clock, you have 75. On 24 hour clock, if you have 2015, on 12 hour clock, you have 8.15. 
On 24 hours, so if you have 21, 11. On 12 hours, so you get 9, 11. On 24 hours, so if you have 22, 10. On 12 hours, so you have 10, 10. On 24 hours, so if you have 23, 35. On 12 hours, so you get 11, 35. On 24 hours, so if you have 24, 20. On 12 hours, you get 12, 20. Children, I hope changing 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock or changing 12 hour clock time to 24 hour clock time, you have understood it. And I know that you are going to copy your notes and do the exercises that I'm about to give. Thank you and God bless you.